good morning everybody welcome back to a new vlog i have a severe <laughs> brain fog this morning i think i'm just a bit tired at the moment I'm not sure what's going on with my brain but this morning i really wanted to unbox a few of the deliveries that have sorry i have dog hair on my lip don't kiss your dog before coming on camera. I've done a lot of shopping the past week. I tried not to shop the whole of Jan. Boy, did I end up shopping. However, the good thing about abstaining from the shopping is that I ended up buying things that I've been really wanting for ages, but I managed to find them on sale and that was why I ended up buying some of the things that I have bought because they were on sale and I was like, I really wanted those. I was gonna pay full price for them. Now's the perfect time. So I just kind of went for it. However, I have had to go half a size down, so they could be being returned. So maybe the money will be going straight into my bank, but I also made a beauty order, which I don't do too often, but lots of these things are things that have scarcely been in stock and I've seen them and I've just been like, need to order them right now because these are never in stock. So this is my way of justifying the shopping that I have done, even though I was on a spending ban, which I don't even think I really told you guys anyway. So I could have just shut up and gone on with it. But anyway, we have a big stack of things behind me. But I'm gonna get started with the beauty bits. Little space in K order. I actually need to make another one, annoyingly, because there was something I forgot. I got Ryan some Valentine's Day gifts and I actually forgot something that I knew he needed. So I need to order that, but I also need a new Swede Lashes Cloud Mascara because I just can't live a day without it and it's getting to the point where it is starting to go like very dry. I can probably go another couple of weeks, but yeah, things are not looking stunning. So I picked these up for Ryan for Valentine's Day. I'm not saying what they are in case he can hear me. This upstairs is very well soundproofed, but just in case he can hear me in the house. These are what I got him. He's a big fan. I also got some things for me that I'm very excited about. The first is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer, which is literally one of my favorite concealers of all time. Oh, this looks like it could be a good shade for me. Yes, I got the shade Pearl. I used to use the shade, I think it was Beach. Oh, this actually could be a really good match for me. Great. It was a similar shade to this, but a more yellow tone. I actually think this will be really nice because I like to use it under my eyes because of the texture of it. So pinky tone is actually very welcome from me. I don't love a yellow tone concealer anyway. I find either pink toned or yellow toned. My skin tone is neither of those, so it doesn't really matter to me which one I go for. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a really good shade match for my face. So I'm very happy with that, but I also did manage to get, oh, it was Fawn I think I was using. I managed to get my original shade in a mini, which will be so good for traveling with. Yeah, that is my shade. I feel like I've just really, it's so small. I've just wasted product putting it on my, the back of my hand. But yeah, this is Fawn 4.5. Yeah, wow, such a good shade match. So I've got both of those and I was like, do you know what, if one's too light or too dark, I can mix. Actually, I think both are gonna work really well on my skin tone. It's much better than the current shade I'm using, which is June, which I use on the outer part of my face <laughs> because it basically is a, heavy duty bronzer. I'm trying to use it up at the moment because I have had it sitting in my stash for way too long and I'm trying to just use up products at the moment. I am so guilty of just not using up my products now. But anyway, in trying to use it up, I reminded myself of how good this concealer is. So I had to make a purchase. I'm currently using the Too Faced concealer. It's quite a heavy duty concealer. I will link it in the info box. It's very good. It's very full coverage. If you like a full coverage concealer, you will love it. It's very similar to this, but this is dewier and just has a more creamy texture, which I really love on my skin. But I do really like the Too Faced one. I think in the summer when I want longevity and I don't want it to be too creamy because it's very hot, for example, like say I go away, the Too Faced one would be amazing. However, the packaging is so bulky. Like it's so bulky. So it's definitely more of a on your vanity kind of product, not a travel with product. Whereas I am very impressed with the size of this mini. Very lightweight, very tiny, I'm very happy with that. I then also got a Summer Fridays lip balm in a shade that I have been seeing everyone literally every influencer talking about and i didn't have this shade this was one of the newer drops and i only have the originals there was a, the original three that were released and i have the vanilla one it's clear but the other two shades they weren't great for me but the shade pink sugar just looked like it would be my perfect lip gloss shade so when i saw that it had come back into stock on space and k i was like i got to try this oh yeah it's like a really nice light pink so hopefully it'll be nice and sheer and juicy and yep yeah. mm. oh my god it smells 
so good love 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 and i'm hoping it will be really nice with just lip liner and then this for no makeup days okay successful little space and co haul those are the beauty bits i picked up and then we have i have a cos order and i have been so looking forward to this arriving because i'm really enjoying their denim and i've been looking for a really nice black straight leg pair of jeans that are a little bit longer than my holland cooper ones because i cut my holland cooper ones and they're more of like my summer black jean whereas i need like a winter not a wide leg because i do love my wide leg ones but i wanted something that was like a little bit less wide leg but not a skinny the holland cooper ones as well are like somewhere between a skinny and a straight whereas these look like just a really solid straight leg pair of jeans and i really want to wear them with just like a really high pair of black boots for the winter times basically the outfit that i wore last week to half penny but with a slightly less wide jean essentially and then i also got this shirt so we can try all this on together i have time today it is a weekend I am just chill. But I got this blue shirt because I don't currently have like a blue shirt in my wardrobe. I have one that's like a pinstripe, but I wanted just a solid blue shirt. I just think they're really cool. I think they'll look really nice together as well, hopefully. This is quite an oversized fit by the looks of it. I've got a size eight. We'll see how I get on with it, but I think it will be really, really nice. We can try that on in a second. Okay, from Boohoo, I got a giant... I'm scared to put this anywhere near my black jumper. I got a giant fluffy cropped jacket because I've been sitting, yeah, already, it's already everywhere. I'm just gonna hold it up very far away from me. I've been seeing these everywhere on all the cool Instagram girlies. And you guys know, I love a faux fur coat. I had a black one of these a few years back in like 2018 before those jackets were like cool before they were giving like the tiktok mob wife trend and i loved it and everyone called me big bird but now now people hopefully won't be mean to me but i got the cream one i thought it would look really cool with just like a pair of tailored trousers like you know my usual uniform but just like a real contrast on the top half to the slightly more tailored wide leg trousers that i love wearing and like a pair of trainers i just think that's gonna look so cool so yeah i picked that up there was a jacket from there's an aloe one which i love the look of and there's another one from a different brand i can't remember what it's called but they were both like in the 400 to 500 pound mark and i was like mm -mm, no so i actually found that on boohoo which i don't love but i just really wanted to see if it was something that was worth spending my money on but anyway another thing that i wanted to see if it was worth spending my money on i don't know how i feel about this i mean i kind of love these i yeah i kind of love these i think this would look really nice actually just with my black leggings and black jumper weirdly i like how little these give to an outfit they're basically what the veja trainers used to be the only thing i was not sure on is this tan sole i don't know if i love that but yeah i actually like how little they give to an outfit i'll show you them on with just like a pair of wide leg trousers they're just they're gonna be a real opinion divider but i saw them in stock they've scarcely been in stock the past few months so i decided to pick them up i got a size i think these are a size, size five is anything i walk far in i like in a half a size up for me i got a size five and they fit pretty well they do they feel like a lovely comfortable trainer no like these actually feel like they are made of cardboard it's kind of funny to me that everyone is obsessed with these there are definitely more comfortable trainers on the planet but i wanted a new pair of trainers that weren't completely beaten up because my veja ones are literally falling apart and it's actually just starting to look a little bit embarrassing now i'll let you know how i go on with these okay we have more shoes i saw two pairs of shoes that i have been dying for in the sale roughly around my size i've got one and a four and a half which is my very specific size if in doubt i tend to buy a five however one was available in a four and I have worn them in a four previously, so I thought I'd give it a go. I ordered both. I'm on a spending ban. I'm on a spending ban. Here we go. This is such a random what I bought this week video. There's a real range going on. <sighs> I'm obsessed with them. Now, I feel like I can get away with the half a size down because they're a slingback. They are a slingback. It tends to bode well for me, in my experience. So if we could all keep me in your thoughts and prayers, because these are the most flattering shoe I have ever tried on in my life. 
I wore Victoria's a couple of weeks ago on our girls trip and they make my legs look so long and in addition to wearing these with a little black dress I feel like I probably for events and stuff could wear them under trousers and things like that as well so for me these were just a no-brainer but just so beautiful oh, just un real and i love a pair of white style shoes you guys will know i've been wearing their shoes for so long now like six six years i think i've had a pair of shoes from them for six years and they were a pair of black heels which i am now getting to the point where i'm like i cannot wear these anymore unless i go like to the club they are battered so i need a new pair so i bought this and then i also bought these i talked myself out of buying these shoes because i was trying to be sensible however I thought they'd be absolutely stunning for this year because they're so damn adorable and I, would, I will wear them forever to be honest but they're so damn adorable but they are also kind of appropriate and kind of just like I don't I just love them my other favorite shoe brand I'm so excited oh my god <laughs> so cute these were on sale half the price have the price and i really wanted these last when they were launched last i think it was autumn or last summer and the great thing is i would have worn them over the summer that's when these are most likely to be worn and i'll still get to wear them this summer but i've saved half the price they're so cute like even in terms of like the wedding with a white dress but to make it more fun they do do them in white i could have got them in white but i don't think the white were on sale but i've just for some reason always loved this like aqua minty metallic green color so stunning okay so i forgot a few things that i got from asos in addition to the sambas so firstly picked up just this really simple like high neck white jersey top this is so bright on the camera this is from and other stories on asos but it fits so nicely the quality feels really nice it's very like stretchy they also do a very similar version of this that is asos own but i prefer this one in terms of quality but i will link both for you because they're both great but then i also picked up this cute little hat this is from weekday just a cute little white hat because i think it will look really nice with my hair down and with like an all black kind of outfit but I also have a it's like a white a creamy white like a natural white you know that kind of color I have my acne scarf which is very like big and fluffy and it is in the same color as this like literally the exact same so I basically was looking for a hat to match it because I just like that vibe I mean it's very chilly at the moment and I actually just don't have like a light coloured hat I have a couple of beanies and I've got like a lilac one and then a grey one and a black one and I just really wanted a cream one I thought it would be a great addition to my wardrobe anyway let's go try on some some cute things okay so these are the sambas with the jeans the new jeans I really like them I think the new jeans could probably do with like an inch or so off but I want to wear them with boots so I'm gonna make them work for heels and trainers and I actually love the whole look like I love it with the slouchy jumper as well I think the trick if you're wearing like slouchy everything is to wear a lot of jewelry that's the way that for me it kind of feels like still cute and not too much is just a ton of jewelry especially if my hair isn't down but yeah I actually I really like this even though this wasn't the intended way of uh, styling the jeans or the sambas I actually I think it's kind of cool but anyway I'm going to put on a pair of heels with this so that you can see the full effect and I'm going to try on the blue shirt with these jeans as well but I'm really happy with the jeans they fit so nicely I think I got a 20 a 27 so they fit they're like roomy I don't know if you can see there's a lot of room which is great because that means these could be amazing like going out for dinner jeans they're not too tight like I prefer to wear a belt around my tummy and then have this part of the jean like not tight I think it makes the jeans look so much better very happy with the jeans and here we are blue shirt black jeans black pair of heels these are a little pair of Jimmy Choo's that I have they're basically like the perfect length for wearing with these jeans. I buttoned the shirt up 
twice and then left it loose and flowy i quite like that i like how this even if you don't button it almost like marries up at the top i don't love it when my shirts are too flimsy now and they just fall open i just i don't love the way that looks so i like how structured this is i love that you can just do a little hand in pocket situation big fan of these jeans big big fan of these jeans i think this will be so nice as well with a jumper lay it over it okay yeah big fan of this this is so cozy this is a really nice way of like if you're around the house or just at lunch and you're a little bit chilly honestly you wouldn't think it but putting a jumper over your shoulders actually makes you so much warmer it's basically like a cape big fan i think it makes everything just look so relaxed but really like cozy and it's a nice way of layering but without taking away from what you've got on the bottom but anyway big fan of the shirt I think this would look really nice with a skinnier leg jean as well. I think these will be so nice with a fitted top as well. Loving oversized at the moment, but still will forever be the biggest fan of contrasting the fits. So if it's fitted on the bottom, I want it loose on the top. If it's loose on the top, I want it fitted on the bottom, that kind of thing. But just having a little moment where I'm enjoying oversized. You know how I can't wait to wear these jeans with a freaking waistcoat? roll on spring summer because this i cannot wait you guys these shoes <laughs> they are so cool i don't feel like you can really see them properly because they are sinking into my carpet that's how thick my carpet is but they look so beautiful they really elongate the leg i just love them i think with this dress as well it's just so nice this dress is from house of cb it also comes in cream if you want to go and watch my last video i think it was my last video you'll see both of them in that i am in love with these shoes i just have not been able to find a pair of shoes on the high street that do it quite like this and then we have the green jimmy shoes let me know what you think on these i love them though with a lighter color like this kind of like creamy silky dress the second i saw these i was like those would be the perfect heels to wear with this dress and i did struggle finding a pair of shoes that went with this dress last summer there was a pair of and other stories they were similar to this they were like a kind of strappy sandal but they were a lot lower and ever since i saw these i've been dreaming of having these to wear with this dress i adore this dress i get so much wear out of it but i think they'll also just be perfect with so many other lighter colors or more colorful colors there is a bag that you can see up here that i will be wearing a lot this summer and these shoes would just be so fun to pair with it i'd love to wear it with some pinks as well and just really switch up the color palette i've really been trying over the past couple of years to invest in more fun shoes because i just feel like shoes are something that can really let the side down and having the right shoe for each occasion for how i want to style things has just been a real game changer for me so yeah i've been really enjoying expanding the shoe collection let me know what you think of these I think they're gorgeous and I think I will get so much wear out of them over the summer but I'm really intrigued to get everyone's thoughts because sometimes you guys highlight things that I would not have thought of so let me know. I'm back in my Aldenola sweats. I've actually changed. I was wearing my leggings earlier. I'm now wearing the trackies which are a purchase that I made over Christmas and I have no regrets. They're so comfortable. They're kind of like a chic tracksuit bottom. I'll show you in a second. But now I am just tidying the room of requirement before my cousin comes over i am going to give her some beauty bits to take back to uni for her housemates i have got the worst headache so if this vlog doesn't vlog that is why because um yeah i'm really struggling today i think that might have been the reason for my brain fog definitely found since coming off the pill like a year ago that i get more headaches now annoyingly but it's fine it's fine. I have to say, guys, I love this room. I'm so sorry if we just never leave in, in the vlogs anymore and we're just always in here. I hope you don't mind. What are you chefing up? Burgers and chips. Burgers and <laughs> chips. What's kimchi. in the burgers? Kimchi, vegan cheese, the sauce, which is mayo, pickle juice, ketchup. Wow. Is that this? And your paste as well. Oh my god. Delicious. Wait, are there nuggies? Yeah, they were just left open. The oh my so. god. I love nuggies. Mmm. Also got chips with rosemary salt. Delicious, you're going for proper like honest burger vibes. 
Yeah. Oh. <sighs> smells so good. Mm. Oh, I can't wait for this. I'm so hungry. So that's going to be our evening. I'll be back with you tomorrow. Welcome back to a new episode of 30 something drama queen. Oh boy, do I have a list like I had to stop making the list Early, honestly the last thing I put on this list is so weird Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good Because okay, I was thinking what we could do is I could come up early She's going to be sending the invitation and like for white itinerary. So um, yeah, it's all exciting. I'm gonna action all of this now have a lovely day you too babe i'll speak to you later, later. Bye. bye good morning guess which girl just ordered the final rails for this side of the room oh my god i cannot wait to have the other 50 percent of this room finished off that should be coming in the next vlog i can't i can't wait i'm feeling so much better for just having been at home for basically a month solid and just working my way through everything that i had to do in this house and having everything kind of feeling a bit more in order is amazing i can't wait to have the final bits of this room finished because it's actually helping the entire rest of the house now that i'm actually starting to get things in order like everywhere else is starting to get tidier as well and it's just stunning we need to have a shoe clear out you guys because i ordered more shelves than i actually even wanted to order like i could have made the situation a lot more purse friendly if i ordered less shelves but I was doing the shoe maths and I was like, there's no way this is going to work unless I order enough shelving. But I still think I'm going to have to clear out a lot of shoes. So lots of organisation to come. I feel like I have another two vlogs of organisation in me, you guys. So <laughs> I hope you like the at-home content. <laughs> Anyway, I had a very nice little half work, half not work weekend. I recorded a new podcast episode, which will be live when you're watching this. I need to get another one out of the way, I think, in the next 24 hours. I'm trying my best at the moment to keep up with the content. So go and leave me a nice little review. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe or something. Something to keep the momentum going, because it's, it's a lot right now. In other news, I did my makeup this morning and I actually used a blush on my lips. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Hello Talk. What is it called? It's like the liquid blush. I'm gonna go find it. I used it on my lips. I used it on my cheeks as well. So this is what it comes out as on the cheeks. I used the Pillow Talk highlight as well. Mm, stunning. But yeah, I used the blush on my lips. And at first it looks a bit weird. It kind of looks a bit like white and not nothingy. But then it dries down to this matte color, which is probably my perfect nude. I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Let's go and find it, shall we? So, oh my god, this desk, I have got to have a clean up in here. It's the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. I love, 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 love. I'm really happy with my makeup routine at the moment. This is amazing. All of the other beauty light wands are amazing. I've talked about it in today's podcast. If you want to go and hear about all of the products that I'm currently crushing on, go and listen, whoops, go and listen to that podcast episode. I will link it in the info box. I forgot <laughs> to show you this coat and if I'm honest I was having a little bit of a crisis over it even though I love coats like this and I've owned one before and I know I got on with it I was having a little bit of a moment where I was like oh I just think they're gonna hate it and I don't want to try on but now nah, like I've tried it on I love it. I just love a big fluffy coat. I think that's so fun. This one is a really great length on me if you're quite tall this will sit a lot higher up like this will be more kind of around your waistline this will definitely be a lot more cropped on you but for me for a shorter girly i think it hits at such a nice point i think it looks really nice with the straight leg jeans and you can do a pair of boots with it i've got a pair of boots on now however it also looks really nice with a straight leg jean and then a pair of uggs as well like my platform uggs it looks really cute with them so i think there's a lot of versatility in this jacket it can do like cute and cozy and like snuggly or it can be more dressed up i am aware this is going to really divide some opinions but i personally think i will be snipping the tag off of this even with like active wear i think this would be really cute you might hate this now but maybe you won't in like a few weeks so don't write it off completely yet i have faith i have faith in this jacket see cute right i won't be argued with no further questions your honor i won't lie to you guys though this 
this <laughs> is uh, the downside of that jacket. It is extra fluffy and does that fluff come off? Oh boy, yes it does. So have your lint rollers at the ready ladies. And finally we have our cream hat, which is a big yes from me. I'm a big fan. I completely didn't think about how much like a light coloured hat kind of can lift your complexion. I think it does good things. What do we think? What do you guys think? Yeah, big fan. Big, big fan. <laughs> to make dinner. I'm just doing a quick double cleanse using a new product. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Facial Cleansing Mousse, you guys. If you've watched the vlogs for more than five minutes, you'll know I love the Clinique Take the Day Off range. It's one of my all-time favorite skincare ranges, so I'm really excited to be trying out this new cleanser. So far, so good. I really like the texture. It's somewhere between like a gel cleanser and almost like a clay. It's got like a thick texture to it so it almost feels like a clay mask but it's not it's a really interesting texture really lovely and leaves the skin feeling really clean like it feels so clean right now and i've only done one cleanse so i feel like it's taken everything off really nicely this afternoon i have done a gel mani we have got the gel bottle lady biab on my nails and i gave them a quick reshape so now it's more like somewhere between an almond and a rounded shape I think that's the most flattering on my hand shape. I really like it. I'm really looking forward to dinner tonight. I think we're having like Mexican wraps. I'm just very excited for my corn on the cob. I'm having a real corn on the cob moment at the moment. And then I am going to get into bed and read my latest book. I'm reading The New Wife, which I'm really enjoying. I just started it because I finished another book. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll show you after dinner. But the book I just finished was really good. I would really recommend it. Makeup is off. We're gonna use a little bit of the Shiseido Bio Performance Infill Serum. I love these so much. This leaves my skin so glowy and hydrated and really plump. It's so hydrating and plumping that it's meant to be great for all skin types but if you have had Botox apparently this is meant to be unreal for prolonging the effects of it. I don't know, I don't, I don't know how true that is. I'm not a dermatologist i'm not a scientist i don't know how the magic works but it really does plump the skin like i notice when i stop using this how non-plump and hydrated my skin looks like it's unreal it comes as part of a duo and if you use the day and night together the results are incredible if you use just one the results are good but i've never seen anything like it when i'm using the duo i have this that i also want to try but because i've used a new cleanser i'm not going to go overboard because if your skin reacts you don't what it's reacting to but i do want to try this at some point in the next month it's the kiehl's ultra facial advanced repair barrier cream my skin is quite sensitive especially this time of year and especially with me using the skin of me it's quite like active ingredients so i find it's really important for me during the winter to use quite a thick moisturizer with it before and after i really want to try this with it i've been using the la roche posay seeker plus which i love but I am intrigued to see how this goes. So if any of you have used this, if you love it, let me know. I'm gonna wait for my serum to sink in and then apply my La Roche Posay, but let's go make dinner. So this is my current read. I'm really enjoying it because it's set in Mallorca and it's just kind of giving me holiday vibes. I love it when something is set in a different country, especially when I'm reading books in the winter because it just kind of helps me take my brain to a different place. But this is the book that I have just finished reading and it's been on my bookshelf for the longest time. This is the back if any of you want to pause and read it. Hopefully it focuses. There we go. If you want to pause and read, I did really, really enjoy it. It just, for some reason, the blurb, I don't know, it didn't 
hook me straight away like some of my other ones do but I really did enjoy that a lot so very happy with that but this is going to be my evening I'm just obsessed with reading before bed at the moment this is the back of this one if you didn't see my last vlog I actually gave you a bedtime story and read the blurb out to you I am loving reading before bed at the moment it helps me sleep so well and on that note that is probably where I'm going to leave you because I am so tired we're getting to the point in the evening where words don't come out properly and I'm struggling to speak so I hope you enjoyed this vlog I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've bought this week and I hope you enjoyed the podcast I'll link it in the info box if you want to go and give it a listen if you liked the youtube monthly favorites i think you'll really enjoy this episode i feel like it deserves a special listen just for my final favorite because i actually made myself laugh so maybe that says more about me than it does about anyone else but i will remember to link that for you guys this week because i forgot last week and that's gonna be it from me <laughs> love you bye